Hello everyone, I am Dr. Neil Kumar, working as a professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. This semester, I will handle the material science for your section. Now, before before going into the module 4, which is nothing but a composite material, first we will know something about the material science and what are the different modules which are there in the material science. Uh, the material science is divided into five different modules. The module 1 consists of the basics crystallographic structures of the materials and the mechanical behaviors of the materials and failure criteria. The module 2 consists of the alloys, steels and as well as the solidification. The module 3 is with respect to the heat treatment of ferrous and as well as the non-ferrous materials. The module 4 is with respect to the composite materials. The module 5 is with respect to the other materials and material selection for the engineering applications. Now, uh, we will discuss about the module for the composite materials. Now, here in this slide, there are uh, five different uh, components are there. These components are all of made up of either it may be metallic or it may be a non-metallic materials. The metallic materials or the non-metallic materials are not by a single material. If you take an example of the blades, the blades are the normally a titanium blades. Even this titanium blades are also, it is not with only a titanium material along with some other materials are there. Even uh, if you take an example of the hip joint, the hip joint which is, which is made up of the polymer material, even that polymer material is also a not a single polymer it's it is a normally a composite material now as you know that composite is having a number of application as and also a engineering importance with respect to the material before going with in depth with respect to the composite material we will know what all the contents are there in the in the uh, syllabus or the module 4 now the composite material Composite materials, the definition, classification, types of the matrix material and as well as the reinforcement, MMCs, CMCs and PMCs. MMCs are nothing but the metal matrix composites, CMCs are nothing but the ceramic matrix composites, PMCs are nothing but the polymer matrix composites, particulate reinforcement, fiber reinforcement composites, the fundamental of the production of the composite, the process for the production of the composites, the characterization of composites, constitutive relationship of the composites, determination of the composite properties from the component properties, uh, hybrid composites, application of the composite materials, numerical and determining the properties of the composites. These are all the contents with respect to the module 4. Now, first we will know what is a composite. A composite is a engineering material made up of two or three different constituent material which are significantly either it may be of same composition or it may be of different composition. The different composition either it may be in the physical or it may be in the chemical properties and which remains separate and distinct on the macroscopic level and are not soluble to each other. One of the constituent is called as the matrix, the other constituent is called as the reinforcement. The example, if you take an example of the concrete, in the concrete, the cement is a one material, the sand is a one material, the gravels is another material and even the steel what it is used as a reinforcing material, even that is also another different material. These put together to, to make a RCC structure. The composite material is a material composed of two or more distinct phases. The first one is nothing but a matrix phase. The uh, another one is the dispersed phase. Having a two bulk properties significantly different from those of any constituents. The idea is that by combining the two or more distinct material, one can design a engineering new material by which the desired constituent properties can be achieved very easily. The idea is 
to better combination of the properties can be achieved which is called as the principle of combined action the high high tech or it may be a engineered materials or a high strength materials can be achieved very easily in the case of the composite material as you know the composite material are the materials made up of the two or more constituent materials with a significantly different in physical and as well as the chemical properties that when combined to produce a single material which is different from the individual component now the concept of the composite the fibers or the particles are embedded in the matrix of a another material or the best example of the modern days composite which are mostly a structural materials the laminates are the composite materials with where the different layers of material gives them a specific characteristics and a composite material having a specific function to perform the fabrics have no matrix to fall back on but in them the fibers of different composition combining to give them a specific character the reinforcing material generally which stands the maximum load and serves as the desirable properties which also holds the matrix material in firmly further though the composite types are often distinguishable from one another no clear determination can be really made to facilitate the definition the aspect is often shifted to the level which the differentiation that takes place either it may be in the form of a microscopic level or it may be in the form of a macroscopic level in the matrix based structures composites the matrix serves as a two uh, paramount purpose which is nothing but a binding the reinforcement phase in the place and de deforming to distribute the stresses among the constituent of the reinforcement material under the applied forces as you know that uh, the composite consists of the two thing one is nothing but a matrix material the another one is nothing but a reinforcing material which is nothing but a reinforcement material now the classification of the composite material the composite materials are classified based on the matrix type and also based on the reinforcement type the first classification is based on the matrix type in that the first one is the polymer matrix composites metal matrix composites ceramic matrix composite based on the reinforcement either it may be a fiber or whiskers or laminated or even the particulate depending upon the type of the application of the material even the matrix and as well as the reinforcement material will varies now uh, based on the matrix material the first one is first one is nothing but a pmcs the second one is nothing but a mmcs and the third one is nothing but the cmcs in the case of the pmcs either it may be a thermoset or thermoplastic materials are used in the case of the mmcs either it may be a light metal metals like either it may be aluminium magnesium lithium titanium and cobalt these are the materials which are used as a matrix material in the case of the ceramic materials uh, the ceramic materials may be a number most of the ceramic materials normally what we are using in the case in in the case of the composites are nothing but the oxides based on the reinforcement uh, it has been classified into the particulate reinforcement fiber reinforcement and also the structural composites the particulate reinforcement either it may be a large particles dispersed or the fiber composites either it may be a continuous fiber or it may be discontinuous fiber or even the short fibers can also be used in the case of the structural composite the laminates the sandwich panels are used now the matrix phase the primary phase having a continuous character is called as the matrix phase matrix is usually more ductile less hard phase 
it holds and disperses phase and shares the load. Uh, the particles reinforce, reinforced composites. The particle reinforced composite consists of the particles of one or more particles suspended in the matrix of the another material. The particles can be either it may be a metallic material or it may be a non-metallic material which is suspended freely in the matrix. The four different combinations are uh, non-metallic particle in non-metallic matrix like the concrete, a mixture of the sand, gravel, cement, water and even the steel. Uh, if you take an example of a glass flakes mixed in a plastic resin, the second one is nothing but a metallic particle in a non-metallic matrix like the copper in epoxy resins increases a conductivity or aluminum phase suspension in the case of the aluminum flakes in paints. The third case is uh, metallic particles in a metallic matrix like lead alloy in a copper alloy that improves the machinability where the lead is a natural lubricant material. The tungsten and also uh, chromium suspended in a in a material which is called as the MMC which is a very hard material. Non-metallic part particles in a metallic composite. The chromium carbides in a cobalt matrix has a high corrosion and aberration resistance. Uranium oxide is a strainless steel as a control rods in the nuclear reactors. The ceramics suspended in a metal matrix called normally the ceramics.